The mustache has been acting quite arrogantly as of late, but reality is about to set in and he will be forced to face the music. In recent episodes of The Young and the Restless, Black Knight has seemed supremely confident in his ability to seize control of Tucker McCall's company. After all, Black Knight chose the name Victor for himself since it means victorious in Latin. Yet he might get a rude awakening. You could be thinking, what? Considering he is Victor Newman, self-assurance is to be expected. In normal circumstances, we'd agree. But the current predicament is a lose-lose for the nation. Let us elaborate. Victoria and Victor Newman and Ashley Abbott, both with designs on McCall Unlimited, are at loggerheads in the latest feud between the two powerful families. By purchasing Tucker's debt, Ashley made significant advances, but not enough to assume control of the corporation. Tucker worried about his ex-next wife's move after she made the bold one, and she recently showed her hand, or at least part of it. When she persuaded McCall to sell, not to the Newmans, but to his son Devon, it's become evident that Ashley believes Tucker when he says that all he cares about is creating a life with the woman he claims to love and their son, even if he went about it the wrong way. Tucker, on the other hand, has an agreement in place with Victoria to sell the business to her as he tried to show Ashley that she was more important to him than his career. Since the preview depicts Tucker making Devon a proposal that might transform his life, it seems likely that McCall will take Ash up on his suggestion. A spoiler suggests that Victor and Victoria will start to doubt Ashley's intentions, which is further proof that this change will occur. But would Devon agree to acquire McCall just before he goes to court to defend Hamilton Winters, the company he co-founded with his late adoptive father, Emil? The most imaginative daytime disguises, Adam to manage and confided in her friend that if the deal went through, she would dismantle the company, keeping only the parts she thought were beneficial to Newman Enterprises, such the entertainment division and its long list of titles, which would benefit Nate's Newman Media. Hence, it appears that Victor and his intention to deliver McCall Unlimited as a returning gift to Adam will be left in the dust, regardless of whether Devon agrees to acquire his father's company or Victoria is ultimately successful in making a deal with Tucker. If Devon declines, the Newmans stand a better chance of acquiring McCall and can be considered winners. It seems like Victor would achieve what he wants if he offered Adam the chance to oversee the company to pull him back into the fold. Wait a minute. If it continues this way, Victor will still be at a disadvantage. How? Read on. Victoria and Nate had a private conversation in which Victoria made clear that her goals for McCall Unlimited would differ greatly from those of her father. Instead of giving it to her half-brother, Victoria thinks it's a waste. 